welcome back to my channel. I'm Devin if you're new here. Today I want to run you through all of the breakfasts that I've had for about the past week. I'm going to tell you right now these are very underwhelming. I have about a 15 minute gap in between the end of my walk and the start of my first Zoom meeting every morning so I have to make these quick, easy, fast, but also filling breakfast. You're going to see a very common theme in here. I use probably the same five things, but that's how I like it. I like having a capsule breakfast, if you will. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Devin. I'm making videos every single day this month in the month of June, and I would really love it if you subscribe to my channel. I live in San Diego, California. I make a ton of lifestyle, food, fashion, sometimes fitness videos, and I would just love to have you here. It's a fun time. All right, that's enough self promo let's get on to the breakfast we're starting this on Sunday because I have a bit more time on Sunday so sometimes I have a bit more of an indulgent breakfast on Sundays this day I really was craving a bagel sandwich and I have not found anywhere good in San Diego that has good bagel sandwiches if you know of any please let me know because I have been on the hunt and I've seen none but anyways I thought okay I can make this at home. So what you're gonna need for this is a bagel of your choice, eggs, turkey bacon, cheese, and cream cheese. I start by toasting my bagel. I just cut it in half, put it in the toaster oven, and then I'll scramble my egg in a big pan. I am a fan of only using one pan. Like whenever I'm cooking, I wanna use one pan, and so I'm gonna use a big one so I can cook everything in it. We start by scrambling our eggs and cooking those, and once they're a little bit more solidified, I'll add in my turkey bacon and I'll cook that on both sides once the bagel is done I'll add some cream cheese to it and then I'll add some everything but the bagel seasoning as if there wasn't already enough on the already everything bagel and then I'll assemble my egg and my turkey bacon and I'll put a little bit of sharp cheddar on it when I'm cooking my egg I kind of try to shape it into like a little fluffy cloud so that it fits nicely on my bagel I don't know why I cook two eggs in this video because I typically only cook one because two is just way too much but whenever I cook one it just sits on the bagel better so keep that in mind I also was feeling a bit more indulgent so I poured myself a nice glass of OJ and this was like such a good Sunday breakfast The next breakfast I had was just avocado toast with fruit. I love the Trader Joe's sourdough bread. It's just so good and every once in a while I love having some avocado toast with it. So while my bread is toasting, I will scoop out my avocado, mash it, and put in a little bit of salt and then some lime juice so that once it comes out I'm just ready to spread it on there. And then it comes out, I spread it on, I add some everything but the bagel seasoning and then I will peel an orange. I have been loving oranges, like navel oranges just do something to me and I am obsessed with them you'll see that a lot in this video because I've just been having so much of them but I feel like they're just the perfect little spring summertime fruit so I've been having that with everything lately I also have been getting into matcha I stopped drinking coffee about a week ago I don't know how to feel I think I've been really sick so I've been super tired but my brain is also telling me you're tired because you haven't been having coffee so I want to try it a week of not being sick and not having coffee and just hope that I have more energy. But I have been loving matcha and I just put my matcha recipe on my TikTok, so go follow me over there if you haven't already because I have been loving matcha. The next day, I wanted to have some fruit and just some eggs. I wasn't feeling super hungry, and breakfast is when I really try to like just listen to what I need instead of having like the same breakfast every single day because that's what I have every day. So all I wanted today was some eggs and some fruit. So I scrambled my eggs and then had, guess again, another navel orange. Of course I added my matcha to this and this was just the perfect little yummy taste of breakfast. I love breakfast. I love it and I don't know, it's probably like one of my favorite parts of the day is like getting home from my walk and eating breakfast and making a fun little cute drink and having some fruit and eggs 
it just adds to the excitement. Next, this is a little bit different. So I've never really seen too many people talking about oranges mixed with Greek yogurt. I see people mixing like different kinds of fruit, like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, whatever with Greek yogurt, but never oranges. So one day that's all I had for breakfast. Like that's all I had in the fridge. And I tried them together and it was actually a match made in heaven. So I've been having that a lot lately and that's exactly what I had for breakfast this day. I had Greek yogurt an orange and some matcha and I like mix the orange into the Greek yogurt getting two oranges and a little bit of Greek yogurt it's just so good and I feel like I'm getting like such a good source of protein in so I really enjoyed that breakfast with my friends and I was like I don't really care about finals like this he's like what is for my last day of breakfast, I had the Greek yogurt again with two oranges and this time I added an egg because I was a little extra hungry as well as my matcha. This was just like the most colorful breakfast ever and I feel like colorful breakfasts just make me so excited. Breakfast just makes me excited. There is nothing more exciting than breakfast. I'm sorry. I love it. I literally go to sleep and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to wake up and eat my orange and matcha and egg and Greek yogurt and avocado toast. I just love it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys have a breakfast that is like your food fixation right now, comment that down below. Mine is definitely Greek yogurt and oranges, if I haven't said it enough. I'll say it again. It's Greek yogurt and oranges. Also comment down below this emoji if you're watching to this point. I really do appreciate you guys for being here. All the comments, love, and support mean more to me than you will ever know and they really help my channel out. So leave something down below. All right, that's gonna be it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!